Hey y'all, I'm sitting on my bathroom floor and I just want to come at y'all with a um, Dark Moon Lilith in Taurus video. Um, this is the hoarder. A glutton who overbears others with their materialism. They take the role of female counterparts and persons relating to visual arts adjectives. Greedy, materialistic, lazy, stingy, frugal, controlling, jealous, possessive, insatiable, lustful, gluttonous, indulgent, eclectic, hedonistic, refined, intimidating, dishonest, degenerate, passionate. Notable celebrities Kanye West, Michael Fassbender, Bernie Sanders, Daniel Craig, John Mayer, Keira Knightley, Audrey Tattoo, Adolf Hitler, Shakira, Kidman, Lady Gaga, Laura Raffaele, Bob Dylan, Joseph Stalin, Colin Farrell, Lana Del Rey, Bruce Lee, Celine Dion, Julia Roberts, Will Smith, Charlie Chaplin, Ryan Reynolds, Bruno Mars. Frustrations, earthquakes, landslides, digestive diseases, fear of hunger, seemingly endless financial difficulties or debts. Rapid loss of savings. This is the karma of a skin flint, a miser, a hoarder, a dishonest banker, a usurer, an insatiable glutton. Negative attributes. Greed manifests through material and emotional realm or with either fascination with money or complete rejection of it or total dedication may be subject to bring about unwanted pregnancies due to being highly fertile much of early lifetime is spent solely in the pursuit of pleasure the development of the senses and the sensual world also may frequently shift sex partners due to this they are victim to losing every material asset or aspect at a certain point in their lifetime. They may uh, spend another part of their lifetime having accumulated vast amounts of money, which then allows them to partake in this so-called development of the, their strongly dominant senses which lives inside of them since the very birth and beginning of the world and Taurus individual. Um, additionally, they can be a domestic nightmare to live with because of their habit of hoarding in the house. And it never really goes away, this, this trait. And it just seems to be very consistent in this um, category. And um, they could just also be very... Uh, stringent people to live with because they have these certain rules and designations when it comes to the um, their personal, private, physical surroundings, their home, um, and they always tend to just um, have failed, kind of partially failed, some kind of negative twist to their like, um, you know, material situation at some point or another it seems to um, you know come in one day and then be gone the next and it's just like um, you know they never really progress in a certain area of their lives um, a certain psychological barrier they have it's this fear of losing everything they It's not the worst position to be at in the Liliths, but it's not the best either. Um, there's something um, that, uh, about this placement that is associated with grandeur and like luxury, and uh, just being surrounded by arts and beauty and material like. 
flourish, flourishing in the material world. And this is through wealth and success, and also maybe a little bit of the cunning manipulation that the Taurus um, secretly has. But overall, this is some a uh, certain placement that really um, generates individuals who are very strong physical like energy. Um, they are, they are often quite resilient in that aspect. Um, uh, they get through these ups and downs, and they're like that's their strength, their inner strength. It it's there because they um, they they deal with it on a, a regular basis. They have to confront those truths on a regular basis for these people because they are um, they experience life in a slightly different way and um, they they're just very independent also in that matter and headstrong. It's, it's not a bad place to be, head-wise, but it's not um, the, the majority. So they have to, they kind of invent their own rules and play the game by their own rules and strangely get, get by. And it's a mystery sometimes to people how um, they can exist for so long because they sort of seem, um, you know, like they're about to tip the beaker any moment, so to speak. Um, life comes at them in a really strong manner, so they always have something on their plate um, that they're dealing with. Very busy, usually in terms of their careers, um, and so let me just run down the po positive attributes. Extremely aesthetically evolved people who are also very romantic and alluring as a result. They may get lost in a different time period or about them, whether it be a near distant past or a near distant they tend to be physically strong and or have athletic finesse. Potential to tap into artistic beauty that is unmatched in its senses groups can be very seriously emotionally heavy individuals. Um, their presence takes a toll on its psychology in regards to loved ones especially. Um, these people are, can have the potential to be very skilled beauticians. They can be part of, um, some real, like, tasteful, um, elaborate explorations of pleasure and art. These guys are the definitive hedonists. I mean, look at Lady Gaga and Kanye West. Like, they really tapped into the artistic field in a very sensual and like sh like next level way like it's, it's some real like 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 very very sophisticated complex like um, tapping into those that creative force and beauty and also being grounded in, in real real physical shape and texture and all those fine details that come in through the senses and not just uh, the mental or the emotional or even the um, energetic say. so to recap um, both and Taurus individuals your life lesson is to accept yet also in the same vein to lose and 
you're strong, so you definitely have the ability to do so. Anyway, I hope this video was informative.